functions introduction. Tell whether the following mappings are functions. And you're given the following. First, as your input, you're given 2, 4, and 5. And then as your output, you're given negative 1, 0, and 4. And they are mapped as such. So right now, I'd like you to take a second and please determine whether or not you believe this is a function. And here are just some quick notes. When it comes to functions, each input has only one output. So each input has only one output. So let's take a look at the first one. And you see here that each input has only one output. 2 only goes to 1, 4 only goes to 0, and 5 only goes to 4. So you can mark down, yes, this is a function. Here's another example. And you're given the following inputs. Negative 4, 0, and 8. And you're given the following outputs. Here they are. 1, 2, 5, and 7. And they are mapped accordingly. Here we go. So let's take a look. And you should notice that the input negative 4 has two outputs. Negative 4 goes to 1 and it goes to 2. Therefore, it doesn't have only one output. It has two outputs. So this is not a function. And now let's move on to a third problem here where you're given the following inputs. Negative 3, negative 2, 0, and 4. And as your outputs, you're given negative 7, negative 5, and negative 3. And those inputs are mapped out just like this. So let's take a look here and see what we have. Each input has only one output. Negative 3 goes to negative 7, negative 2 to negative 5, 0 to negative 5, and 4 to negative 3. So you can say, yes, this is a function. This was just a quick introduction, but you can move on to the next section, which will be a little bit trickier.